Hi, and welcome to another episode of Catcher TV. I'm Josh Nestor. Thanks for watching. In this episode, my friend Greg and I are chasing trout and salmon in one of the Southern Hemisphere's most mysterious rivers, the Huon River, in the deep south of Tasmania, Australia. Greg's a fascinating guy, and he knows Tasmania inside out, its history and its geology. He's also one of the few people to have taken the time to study and get to know the Huon. I'm lucky to be fishing with him today. Wild populations of brown and rainbow trout inhabit the Huon, as well as escapee Atlantic salmon from fish farms located around the river mouth. The largest trout ever taken in Australia was caught in the Huon way back in 1887. It weighed over 13 kilos or 29 pounds and was caught by the then governor of Tasmania. Optimistically, we pick some lettuce from Greg's garden and pick up some tasty tomatoes at a roadside stall. In less than one hour, we arrive in another world, deep in the heart of the Huon Valley. Here, the untamed river flows inky black. It's actually the colour of strong black tea, stained from the natural tannins of trees and plants. The light dances and shimmers around us, giving the whole place a spiritual feel. We make our way carefully, respectfully, to an idyllic section that Greg knows. Greg swears by his gaudy looking pink and lime green soft plastics, Berkeley Gulp Shad varieties known as nuclear chickens. In these dark waters, these brightly coloured lures are as deadly as they are ugly. We've found this beautiful piece of fast water. You can see how it's just ripping through here and creating a back eddy. This is perfect trout country. So what I'm going to do to fish it is upstream nymphing. And all I use here is an indicator on the line there, which is just some putty as you can see. Going down a long leader, going down to one heavy nymph. And then beneath that, about a half a metre, I've just got a little trailing nymph as well. And all I'm going to do is fish it upstream and drift it down with the current. When fishing down and across, cast your one or two wet flies, usually streamer patterns, across river and slightly downstream. Give the flies time to sink and then work them back as they sweep in an arc across the current. When the fly line straightens downstream, work the flies directly back upstream towards you. Trout may hit at any time, but the first few seconds of the swing are particularly deadly. The Huon River does not give up her fish easily, even the small ones. But fortunately, I managed to land some pretty little browns and rainbows using the down and across method. I've just caught this pretty little rainbow trout. He's not very big, but you can see the beautiful pink markings on him. That's really what defines a rainbow trout. Now, if I just pop him here for a moment, hopefully he won't flip off the log. Here's a brown trout, similar size, again, not, not very big. But you can see here, the brown trout is a more brown and yellow colour with red dots on it. Neither of these fish are monsters, and just when it was looking like the larger fish would elude us, Greg suddenly hooks into a genuine Huon River beast on his forsaken nuclear chook. It's a solid Atlantic salmon. It puts up a great fight, but in the time it takes me to walk over to him, Greg has already landed and partially disemboweled his prize. It's still a beautiful sight to behold. Yeah, I just didn't think you'd get a, a salmon this far up. Eh? I, I thought the rapids would stop him, but 
Well, he, so he's travelled from the farms way down river, what, 20 kilometres? 20, 30 kilometres. 20, 30 yeah. kilometres down river, yeah. all the way up here, probably looking for home or something. Well, I think they just instinctively follow the fresh water currents, you know, and, oh. and, and there's beautiful water coming out of the dune. That would have to be, what, one and a half kilo of, of Atlantic salmon? Yeah, I think so. On yeah. a soft plastic, that yeah. is absolutely brilliant. Well, that would be perfect for lunch. It would be lunch. It would be great, <laughs> excellent. <laughs> With a lovely fresh salmon in our hands, our minds quickly turn to lunch. On the menu today is salmon burgers with a freshly made tomato relish and Greg's homegrown lettuce, all served in a soft white bread roll. For the relish, I fry up some onion, garlic and chilli. To this I add tomato, vinegar, sugar and salt and then simmer it all and reduce it down. All of the ingredients are now in. Now the relish just has to simmer for the next 20 minutes. So I'm gonna go and now clean the fish. Right, now we've got Greg's salmon here. And I'm just going to run a knife down, down the middle of it to extract the guts. Okay, relish is done, so I'm just going to move that to the side, over there, and now the salmon fillets go into the pan. Served with the salmon and Greg's lettuce inside soft white bread rolls, this is a perfect meal for hungry fishermen and a perfect end to our Huon River adventure. Greg's double bite confirms it as a hit. This is what fishing's all about. Life surely doesn't get any better than this. Well, we're going to the Hewitt River because, well, for a number of reasons. Historically, the biggest trout ever caught in Australia was caught in the Hewitt River. Mm. But that said, it's a really hard river to fish. Mm. Everyone in Tasmania basically says, oh, the Huon, you know, really tough fishing there. Mm. It's always been one of those rivers that's just daunted me. I've just tried, I've tried to approach it a few times and just, and, and find uh, the waters as black as ink. Mm. And it's just one of those, one of those places that, that you, fit, you never feel like you're, you're really, really going to get a fish.